This video is if you are doing the reteach on 2.1. So if you're not, you're welcome to follow along. It might be some good information or you're welcome to get started on your assignments. So if you're doing the reteach, be sure to listen. So we're going to be looking at rational numbers again. So that's decimals, fractions, and all integers, all whole numbers. We're going to look at graphing them on a number line. So one thing we want to remember is that opposites are the same distance from zero, but they're in different directions. One's positive, one's negative. So we have the number one and a half, negative one and a half, and one and a half. They're both one and a half units from zero. One's positive, one's negative. Those are opposites. So we're gonna skip down and look at the steps here. We're going to graph numbers and their opposites on a number line. So first we wanna think about their opposites. So if it's positive, we turn it negative. If it's negative, we turn it positive. So 2.2 becomes negative 2.2. Negative 3 fourths becomes positive 3 fourths. And negative 1.5 becomes positive 1.5. So now we're going to think about where they're located. What two numbers are they between? So 2.2 starts with a 2. We always want to look at that whole number there. So it starts with a two and the next counting number would go to three. So I know it's between two and three. So then we have negative two. So I know it starts at two and the next counting number is negative three. So it's between negative two and negative three. On negative three fourths, that does not have a whole number in front of it. It's zero and the next counting number is negative one. So it's on the negative side. So between zero and negative one. Positive 3, 4 starts at 0, since it does not have a whole number, and it goes up to 1. It's going to be between there. Negative 1.5 starts with a negative 1, and the next counting number is negative 2. And then we have 1 starts at 1, the next counting number is 2. So that's just going to help you think about where should it be on this number line, and then you would plot it on the number line. So if we were doing each of these, so first we want to think of the opposites of each one. So before you drop these down, try and answer the questions yourself. So the opposites of negative two and three fourths becomes positive. The opposite of negative 0.8 becomes positive. The opposite of 1.25 becomes negative. So let's check our work here. So positive, positive, negative. Now we want to think about where are these between? So before we drop it down, let's see if we can answer ourselves. So this one starts here at two, and I know the next counting number is three. So this one here starts at zero, and my next counting number is one. This one here starts at negative one, so my next counting number is negative two. Then let's do these ones up here. So negative two, and the next counting number is negative three. So this on the positive side was between two and three, and on the negative side, it's between negative two and three as well. So same numbers that they're located between. So negative 0.8, it starts at zero, and goes over one more place to negative one. And positive one here starts at one, and the next counting number is a two. So go ahead and make sure you understand why each one goes between there. And then if we plotted them on a number line, we can see here's eight tenths on both sides, positive and negative, 1.25 and two and three fourths on both sides. So go ahead and do the do the math reteach part and let me know if you have any questions.